hätten die Verbrennung der Amerikaner. What is up my beautiful mates of YouTube, my name is Ozzy Marcel and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the top 5 fragrances for ladies reactions. So obviously compliments are a huge part of wearing fragrances for a lot of people. I don't think it should be the number one reason why you're wearing a fragrance but I would never begrudge somebody from smelling good simply because they want positive attention. That's not a bad thing and I'm not here to judge. So let's get into the five fragrances that have given me the best reactions over the last few months. Starting things off with almost an obvious one, but it's not very popular here in Australia. Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb. Now, what people love about this is that warm, spicy quality mixed with the tobacco. It smells like a lot of the spices you would find in a kitchen pantry, cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon it's got all these delicious warm fragrance notes whilst also retaining this beautiful almost pipe tobacco quality to it it smells absolutely incredible and it's great for reactions doesn't matter even in the warm weather i've still received positive attention from wearing this fragrance there's just something about it that people absolutely love you're going to get positive attention from both men and women wearing this fragrance Spice Bomb is one of those fragrances that you can find on eBay for less than $70 Australian. I have bought bottles, I think I even bought this bottle from eBay for about $50 and it was brand new. It was a brand new tester. Um, but brand new retail price, it's well over $100 Australian. So just shop around because you shouldn't be overpaying for this. But again, if all you care about is positive attention and compliments, then Spice Bomb is a great option. Next up is one of the most recent fragrances on this list, and that is Pacaraban's Phantom. This is a smooth, creamy vanilla fragrance with a subtle smoky quality and an earthiness as well. If you're over Pacaraban's 1 million, the EDT, and by God, at this point, you should be over it, this is an amazing alternative to that, and another amazing alternative to 1 million by Paco Rabanne is Invictus. Just as a little addition here, if you want a cheaper alternative to Paco Rabanne's Invictus, then you've got two great options. Davidoff Run Wild performs incredibly. I've got a vintage cardigan that I've sprayed this on weeks ago and it still reeks of this stuff and I only put a couple of sprays on. And there's also Dunhill Icon Racing, which also smells like Invictus. They both smell like Invictus, close enough to Invictus for government work, and they're both incredible and cheaper than Invictus. This one you can find for about $50 Australian, and I believe at Chemist Warehouse they were selling Icon Racing for about $40, at least at my local Chemist Warehouse. So those are great cheap alternatives. So it's actually, so it shares a, quite a bit in common with Pacaraban 1 Million Lucky, that has this sort of plummy note and it's also got like a slight nuttiness to it. Phantom is a little different but it has that sort of plummy sweetness to it. It's got that smooth creamy vanilla note. It's almost got this like earthy patchouli quality to it as well. But it's amazing for compliments. It performs like an absolute beast. It is on the slightly pricier side of things at about $120 Australian. But if all you're after is compliments, for $120 Australian, this is an incredibly solid option. Next up is one that you might not expect, and that is Leather Skies by All Saints. Generally, Leather Scents don't get the best reactions, but, but Leather Skies is a clear exception to that. This fragrance, fresh, spicy, with a very bold and prominent leather note. Fresh and leather are two accords that you don't generally find meshed together, especially not meshed together so well. All Saints is a great brand and they're known for their leather jackets and all of that, but their fragrances, these new lines of fragrances, their unisex scents, are absolutely no slouches. Leather Skies smells incredible. I even get compliments from elderly women wearing this fragrance. That's how popular this one is on me. Leather Skies just has so much going for it in terms of performance, compliments, 
The price is at about $125 off of sale, which puts it in a similar bracket to Phantom. However, Leather Skies is a more mature set. It's going to be for somebody over the age of 25, and I probably wouldn't recommend it for somebody, you know, a teenager, but you never know, maybe you're gonna be able to pull this one off because compliments are incredible and the fragrance itself is pretty incredible too. Absolutely adore this one. But it's well known here that I'm a sucker for leather scents. Next up is a surprising one given that it's from Kelvin Klein and that is Defy Eau de Parfum. It's sort of basically, essentially a clone of Dior Sauvage Except, every time I wear this fragrance to work, the reactions I get are monstrous. And I can understand why. This performs like a beast. I mean, it's a Kelvin Klein fragrance that actually performs well. How rare is that? As Rick Harrison on Porn Stars would say, it's about as rare as hen's teeth. Did I just do a Porn Stars reference? Jesus Christ, mate. But this fragrance, absolutely delicious and you get 200 ml for about $80 Australian. Don't buy a smaller bottle, lash out, get the 200 ml bottle. This is gonna last you a, an eternity basically. And the amount of compliments you're gonna get from wearing this are untold. This is just one of those fragrances that has the right amount of notes. It's got, you know, this pepper quality to it. It's got this fresh quality to it. Citrus, a tiny, tiny hint of leather in the base. Ugh. I've got to spray it right now. Very aromatic, very punchy in the opening. It smells delicious. People are going to love the way this one smells on you. And for the price, the performance you're getting, it is an easy recommendation and a safe inclusion in the top five best compliments. And last but not least is an iconic men's fragrance. One that somehow, some way, I think is going to make a massive comeback this year, and that is Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Mar. This, as my father calls it, the man in the bottle. He used to wear this fragrance when I was a kid, and so it has a, it has a nostalgic quality for me. Apple, vanilla, touch of spice. It's a relatively simple fragrance, but the reactions you get for this are incredible. I find that I get better reactions out of Lamal than I do with Ultramale or Le Beau. It just has that perfect convergence between performance and price. For less than $80 Australian, you're getting something that is going to get you monstrous compliments. For less than $80 Australian, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Lamal is a great option, especially if you're looking to spend under $100. If you want a cheap alternative, a cheap clone of this, there is, you could get um, Everflaws Whiskey, the one, the yellow bottle one. That's only about $15 Australian and it smells pretty damn close to this. Even to this day, Lamal is a compliment beast. It's an iconic men's scent and if you're looking for a fragrance that has history to it, that has a story to it, try Lamal. It's going to get you massive reactions. It performs well and people just love the note of vanilla. It's one of the most popular fragrance notes out there. Anyways, these are just five amazing compliments for amazing reactions from the ladies. If you've ever worn any of these before, let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to hear from you guys. And until the next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel and I'll catch you guys around.